Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Talk About Transformers. Today we're looking at WFC Kingdom Core Class Black Arachnia. Now, uh, I know that some reviewers use the term Mini Masterpiece. Um, I think there are some uh, figures that are Mini Masterpiece, like for the scale, they're a Masterpiece at that scale. If I was going to call this a Mini Masterpiece, it would be because it kind of looks like they tried to miniaturize the masterpiece Black Arachnia to make it. Um, one of the reviewers I watched uh, when they reviewed Black Apple Optimus Prime said that the uh, companies will develop a fully functioning figure and then work it back in order to make it fit its budget. So I feel like they just took the um, CAD file for the Masterpiece and worked it back until it would fit a deluxe budget. And that's how we ended up with this. It's not bad, but it does. It looks like a miniature version of the Masterpiece figure. Um, looking at the details, the entire surface of her back and her legs are covered in this texturing and it catches the light really good it almost makes her look like she's covered in water very shiny and then you've got the red paint here for the black widow-esque kind of symbols uh, this doesn't have that texturing uh, it's going to become the robot mode torso so they didn't add it to it you've got all of her little eyes eight eyes total four smaller ones four bigger ones, some little mandibles with little fangs on it, um, giant shoulders just sitting under here. The weapon stores nicely, it actually helps keep all this together, believe it or not. Um, and then you've got her robot hands, and her robot feet, and her robot legs all tucked up in there. But And then you've got her robot waist, so she's got eyes on the back of her butt. But, uh, yeah, but, uh, no, but eyes. But she's, uh, she's not a bad spider at all. Uh, I remember growing up, I had Transmetal 2 Tarantulas, and he was pretty cool. But, uh, I haven't really had a lot of spiders since, and I'm, I'm happy to have this little spider again. Uh, especially because I'll bring out the spider and people will run in fear. Anyway, uh, for comparisons, we've got our standard Rubik's Cube. Compared to the review coming out Friday, this is a very small figure. Because that other figure that's coming out makes this cube look huge. Gormagala statue. And the fun part about this is the game he was released in actually has a spider monster called the Nursella. So, I mean, now there's a, a showdown between these two. And then vehicle mode, Volkswagen Bumblebee, and that's is bringing some eight-legged freaks vibes if you've ever seen that film. And then for the beast comparison, we have next Monday's review, which is Kingdom Air Razor. Uh, and uh, I don't know. I mean, if she was like a sparrow and this was like a bird eater tarantula, it might be all right. But this is, I believe, a peregrine falcon, and this is definitely Black Widow. He said this is definitely not right. But that's it for size comparisons. Um, I'm thinking about just filming straight through the review and just having one music in the background instead of switching. Because uh, with Chudor's review last Tuesday, and the review on Friday and the bumper review last Friday, I was cutting different music in in the transformation. And with this Friday's review and the Cheetor review, I actually forgot to stop the camera after I was done transforming it and then went right into robot details. So I had to try and cut it into two different videos and add the music. So I think I'm just going to film it all in one go. Hopefully I don't have any bloopers and then uh, too bad anyway, I've left some bloopers in. 
and then just put the one music in the background of the video so on to transformation um to start off with you can her legs are kind of wrapped around the heels of robot mode so you can just kind of or her legs her arms are wrapped around the heels of her robot mode legs feet i uh i know that in one of the reviews i filmed i'm pretty sure i called a bicep swivel a thigh swivel so my brain is mixing up all the terminology and i apologize for that you can keep the weapon on here for now it's not going to hurt anything and then this whole structure is on a slider that you'll wiggle out of her stomach there we go now that i've untapped the whole back get back together you you're not we're not ready for you yet so there's a slider in there you're gonna pull it out spin it around and push it back in it'll only go in so far until we separate the arms but we'll push it back in for now and we'll concentrate on her legs go ahead and just straighten them out straighten out the knee spike and this little flap will just slightly collapse on her leg and then you're basically going to want to fold it down because this is the front of the robot so you're just going to pull it out rotate it fold it down so that way the leg is orientated properly we'll go ahead and do it with this one but we'll do it from the front so we're going to pull it down around into place and then with these panels for spider mode they're slightly open to fill out the spider and you just collapse it to fill in the leg and then your knee spikes get them oriented get her feet oriented she's actually pretty sturdy when it comes to standing if you get her feet lined up right now that we've got that done i'm gonna finally take our weapon off and you can take it off and set it off to the side um, but you could also just put it right in her robot hand so that's what i'm gonna do is just get it right in her hand that way I don't have to worry about it. Pull the arms apart. They're on mushroom joints in there so you can swivel them out. Pull the back away from what will be her breastplate and rotate her head through her abdominal area. And with the waist hinged back a little bit, you can rotate this down and then as you're rotating the waist in you're going to hear it snap and that is all locked together fold the head up um, these uh, this area was supposed to peg in but like many people my peg is just broken off inside there so it just flops around um, and then my brother even had the tip of one of his pincer claws in her hands break off. I can't remember which hand and if it was the black or the yellow tip, but one broke off. And then coming back to her back, you're just going to collapse, sandwich these two parts of the spider butt together and just collapse them onto her back. So her back's a little wider than the masterpiece, I think, but it still cleans up really well. And then uh, the mushroom joint on her elbow area is showing and you just rotate her arm so that it's not showing anymore and her hands will be in the appropriate orientation and then you can do whatever you want with these legs you can rotate them all around so she can fire her machine gun legs like she did in the show um, what I do is I, I basically just collapse them into just these structures so that way they're not taking up as much room on the shelf you could collapse them down like this and then you can even fold them back and they're kind of like little arm wings just hanging out back there and that's a neat look um, I'll go ahead and do that with both of them so that way when I put her back on the shelf she'll be ready and not taking up so much space alrighty and that's it for transformation <clears throat> and get her standing up and we'll go ahead and take a look at her bringing her in close 
Uh, she's got the mouth, uh, oh, like almost like a Batman cowl, where she's got this mask going on, and then uh, the mouth is open. I believe that the face and the mouth part both are painted, because the rest of this is like this black plastic. Focus. Um, her eyes might be unpainted black plastic but they might have gone in there and just repainted it black after they painted the face I'm not sure which way was easier there's a little red band painted on her forehead it's not totally center on mine that's okay and then the yellow orange stripe goes all the way around the back moving down the body she's got a Predacon symbol right there on her neck area collar area and then she's got the designs of the spider legs on her chest, spider eyes, um, the detail on the top of her spider, uh, the front area of the spider is all present there as abd abdominal detail. Then you've got yellow paint, yellow orange paint on the inside of the thighs to color up her legs. And then this is all just molded yellow and black plastic down here. She's got black and yellow striping on her pincer claws, um, and then they kind of make the striping continue by using black and orangey-yellow plastics uh, back and forth just to continue the striping up her arm using the molding, which is pretty cool. <coughs> Coming around to the back, she's got little hollow spaces like they usually do these days to save plastic, but these also right here basically work like siege ports these big ones so you could plug weaponizers and fossilizers and stuff into it and then just the same detail that was on the spiders showing through um as for her weapon we'll go ahead and pop it off and take a look at it this is her anchor shot from the show it's molded in orange and then got a bronze orangey paint on it and a microphone on the back for karaoke and like I said you can take it and put it in the back of her leg if you wanted to um, I just have her hold it and since it stores in alt mode and actually helps the mode be more stable I usually keep it on her so we'll put her down and we'll go ahead and get our size comparisons we've got our Rubik's Cube. We've got our Gormagala. And if this was Monster Hunter, it's like the Nusilla got hunted, and now the hunter has the Nusilla parts to fight the Gormagala. We've got our Bumblebee in robot mode. Let's go ahead and raise up the camera a bit. Bumblebee in robot mode. And then I forgot to grab a Deluxe Class Beast for robot mode, so we'll just throw in the still beast moded air razor for that comparison to another Deluxe. A good transformer in a couple of seconds, but I want to leave her in beast mode so that way she's ready for her own review. And that pretty much wraps it up for Black Arachnia. This video should be coming out um on a monday and then the preceding video is transform element bumblebee and the video coming after is wei jang uh commander leader their metal edition mo9 bumblebee movie optimus prime and then after that it's air racers review and i don't know who's going to be coming that friday i haven't figured it out um i'm mostly waiting to see if i'm going to get a figure in the mail by then or not and if not, it'll probably be a Voyager from Kingdom. Uh, I want to say Primal. Or Cyclonus. But since I've been doing a lot of beasts, it'll probably be Primal. Anyway, if you like the video, give it a like. If you like my content, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to be notified when I post videos, go ahead and click the bell. Um, if you liked... When I split the videos up and change the music up, go ahead and comment that. If you prefer the way this video is going to be done, where it's one long take and then the music is just the same throughout, let me know because that's actually easier filming process for me. And I'll see you next time.